Hey guys, welcome back to Nick's Mini Bikes. Uh, in the last episode, we mentioned a compound gearing setup, and in this one, we'll kind of go over a little bit of what that means and show you what this 770 has going on for gearing. Um, so let me count some teeth, and we'll get back to you, let you know what it's got. So to get started, we're going to take the torque converter cover off. On this one, there's just one bolt here. Then we got two on the bottom side. We can get those off and check out that torque converter. There's the 40 series torque converter. The driver's mounted in reverse. It's got a reverse wound spring in it so that the driven could be mounted outboard. Um, yeah, so that's that. I'm um, gonna start popping some chains off and counting teeth. So I got the belt off, and this, uh, this is a compound gearing system it's got four different gearing ratios it's got the gear ratio from the torque converter and then it runs back to this second chain here it's got another gear ratio from here to here and the third gear ratio runs from here to here and the fourth is back behind back behind that big gear there and that runs back to the rear tire there so just gonna pop these chains off so I can easier count the teeth to get these chains off. They each got a master length. There's that one there. Um, there's the big chains master length there. This double 35 chain, it has one also. It's in there somewhere. I have to roll it around and find it and get it off. Um, yeah, and then we'll figure out gear ratio from there. So you pop this first clip off and it just slides right off like so. Don't lose it. You don't have to get another master link. And then, usually you can get the second plate off pretty easy. Hard to do with one hand. Make sure you're grabbing the right link. Sometimes if you get a screwdriver behind it, pry on it a little bit, wiggle it around. It'll come off. Let me get it off real quick. So I ended up having to tap these studs backwards with uh, whatever you could find. Um, and I made this little plate come off here. That's the second piece. Don't lose that one either. And then after the link slides out and out comes your chain. This particular one is a 40, number 40 chain. And kind of strange that all three chains are different sizes. So I got all the chains off, um, counted all my gears, and I made a little schematic down here of what it kind of looks like here. So we start out with a 20 tooth there. It runs up to a 16 tooth which gives us a 0.8 gear ratio. Then that one goes from a 19 tooth to a 60 tooth. And that gives us a 3.157 gear ratio. And then that one runs from an 11 to a 48, which gives us a 4.369 gear ratio. So on a compound gear ratio setup, they all multiply each other. So you'll get 0.8, times 3.157 times 4.363 multiply those together like that I did it on the handy dandy calculator comes out to an 11.019 gear ratio um, 
And then with the torque converter, it kind of changes that up on you a little bit. So from the research I've done, these torque converters start out a three to one gear ratio. And then once they do their expanding and squeezing of the belt, they go to a one to one ish gear ratio. So let's plug that in and see what we get. So after doing a little bit of math on the calculator again, that bike is gonna start off with a three to one on the torque converter. It's gonna go to that 0.8, and that 0.8 is gonna go to the 3.157 here on the double 35. Then it's gonna go back to that 50 chain at a 4.363. And you multiply this one times this one times this one times that one, and you get the bike's gonna start out at a 33 to 1 gear ratio. And then, after the torque converter does its thing and it goes down to 1 to 1, obviously, we're still gonna be at that 11, 11, 0, 19 gear ratio on the final drive, and it gets up to about 35 miles an hour with that compound gear ratio 